going to be on slap bass and we're going to jump right into it and it sounds like this. And what the, the defining tone is that uh, kind of poppy sound you get as opposed to playing with your fingers. And what that is is the string hitting the frets. So you're, you're hitting the string hard enough to where it hits the frets and comes back up. And then when you're popping, you're, you're pulling the string up and it's coming back and hitting the frets. So, first off, I'll teach you how to play slap bass. I'm going to show you where you're going to be hitting your thumb against the string. You're going to hit it right there, and you're going to use the joint of your thumb. Like I said in the article, if you put your hands together like you're praying, and then it's going to be your thumb joint right there that you're hitting it with. So it's going to look like... And then when you're popping, you're going to take your finger and you're going to pull up on the string. And then when it comes back down, it's going to hit the frets. So that motion is going to be like this. You're going to, you're going to take your thumb and you're going to kind of pivot your wrist into the strings. So you've got your thumb there. You're hitting it with the joint of your thumb against the string. And I'm muting these other strings with my, my left hand. So you can kind of hold your hand over it and then kind of leave one of them open. plucking, you use usually your pointer finger or your, your middle finger, and you'll, you'll reach underneath and then pull them up. And usually when you're playing slap bass, you'll slap the bottom strings, and then you'll use your two fingers to pluck the upper strings. So together, it'll be something like this. players will play that the dead notes. And to play those dead notes, you're not fretting anything with your left hand, you're just muting the strings and then you're you're slapping or you're popping. Alright, let's take a look at that first picture. It's just an easy walk down, but we're going to slap it with our thumb, and we're going to fret it with our left hand, but we're going to use the rest of our fingers to lay over the rest of the strings so they don't come through. So let's try it. probably will too. About right where the fretboard starts down here. But if you feel more comfortable slapping down here, then go for it. Alright, now we're going to do a little popping. And that's where you're, you're going to take your pointer finger or your middle finger, pull up on the string so it comes back and hits the frets. Usually when you're slapping and popping, you're going to play octaves and then move them around. Something like that. So let's look at this uh, example we have here. Make them real 
short, you'll be you'll sound a little more funky. So let's let's try this out. Let's uh, pick it up a little faster here. when you're playing slap is to uh, mute the notes so when you're hitting it doesn't sound you don't get that extra those extra messy notes in there so you need to practice uh, muting those other strings while you're playing the one that you want to play so when I'm doing this top string down here and then I've got my my first finger it's resting on this top string so it's not coming through and it's also resting on the A string and then you can practice single notes and just slapping scales check out you can look in the article and in the first paragraph there's a few names and bands that are uh, known for having good slap basses and hopefully you can check them out and you'll find them interesting that's all I've got for slap bass so look over some of the stuff and make up your own stuff and start grooving